Hello everyone, Original Ginger here, and welcome back to Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. And we've reached what is essentially the final act of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and record it all in one session. There's no one here. And if it ends up being, you know, four or five videos long, so be it. So yeah, we're heading across here to get on top of that hourglass. And once we're on top of the hourglass, there'll be a cut scene. So I'm going to shut up and we can, uh, we can watch. You did it. Take the dagger. Strike it into the center of the dome. My father's army sacked your palace, captured you as a slave. What? You have every reason to hate me. What are you talking about? Now you want me to trust you. Go on. There's no time. Give me the dagger. The dagger. He must not get the dagger. I had faced my enemy. I had looked into his eyes. And I had lost... everything. A tomb. You were there. The dagger was in your hand. Why did you hesitate? You think you're cleverer than everybody, but you're just like the rest of them. Those soldiers, all they can do is fight, destroy. Why did I trust you? Why didn't you trust me? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Where are you? I'm right here. Hold my hand. Let go. I didn't mean what I said. No, you're right. All that's happened is my doing. I wanted honor and glory. I brought this on us. You are brave and good. If this tomb is to be ours, at least the dagger will be buried with us. And we are together. What is it? Nothing. You're trembling. I just don't like close spaces. There must be some way out of here. When I was small, my mother taught me a secret word. She said that when I was afraid, all I had to do was speak that word, and a magic door would open. I've never told that to anybody. I can see why. It's the most childish thing I've ever heard of. What was the word? Kakolukia. Kakolukia. You did that, didn't you? Farah? Alright, so the Maja, Maharaja threw us down into a tomb, but Farah used a magic word to open a magic door and let us escape. Very odd. And we've got this long corridor here, like spiral staircase. And at the end is a puzzle that, for whatever reason, the internet doesn't seem to know how to solve the easy way. It's a... Uh, it's a door puzzle where you go in one door and you'll come out another door and you've got to go through the doors in the right order sort of deal. And everywhere on the internet, all the walkthroughs and things I looked at, um, 
basically just list what order you're supposed to go through the doors through, which is fine and everything, but there's actually an easier way, and I'll show you when we get there. Um, basically, it's right through this, this, um, doorway here. But the door you're supposed to go through, Hello? you can hear water splashing. And you'll see Where why. Where are you? Oh. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't what beautiful? Where are you? If you notice, as you walk by each door... I'm looking for you! Most of them will have silence. But then you'll get to one and you can hear... Right splashing or running water. And that's the one you want to go in. Bara. You just, you know, basically rinse and repeat. Do that as many times it takes to... Stay here. To finish the puzzle. Bara. What are you talking about? Where are you? Yeah, this one. I'm here. Where are you? Take me in your arms. I don't see you. And this should be the last one on this level. Now that'll take us up to the what second the floor. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Farah? Just take me in your arms. If you go through the wrong one, you have to start this whole sequence over. So and Farrah? one one more and we should get to see another quite interesting cutscene. This one here. Farah? Was it real, that magical cavern? If it was a dream, then it was a dream we both shared. I know it was. So it seems that Farah has run off with our sword and the dagger of time, and there are sand monsters, and we, I guess we need to just avoid them because we're otherwise defenseless. Yeah, and she's left us her medallion. So once you get into this room, the the sand monsters will disappear. No. Well, not disappear, but they won't come all the way out this way, this far. And we have a short little mirror puzzle here. That must be how Farah escaped. So there. And this one we need to line up so that it there we go and these two just basically need to be switched around if I'm not mistaken yeah 
so that one points the beam that direction, and then this one. No, 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 no. Okay, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Move this one out of the way. We want to move this one here. And this one over here. And that allows us access to our last sword of the game. And let me tell you, this sword is badass. Wow, we're only at about half health. Let's go ahead and go back and take on these sand monsters because there's a save point back here. But as you can see, as long as you can connect with them, it's basically just a one-hit kill. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the save point and see what the vision has to offer. I do want to save. New slot. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. And there's some pretty difficult sections coming up, and I'm probably going to have to do a lot of editing. So I'm going to break this up into several separate recordings. I'm going to do them all one after the other, but I'm going to stop the recording and restart it. So I'll be back in just a second.